Before we get started to giving you today's recommendation for next week, we must go over what we did in the past so you can understand what we did in the future. In the year 2022, on January 1st, we went bearish. We rode it all the way down. Then on January 18th, 2023, we went bullish, riding it up on each and every dip. On each of the dips, we've been pretty good at anticipating when is the top and when is the bottom. About two weeks ago, for three, four days, we were anticipating that this market was going lower. And we were right. Now, two weeks into a lower period of time, we are trying to anticipate when to buy. And these certain indicators that told us to get out of our short-term position and get out of half our intermediate-term position is telling us the opposite direction. So today's video is called Anticipating When to Buy with the VIX and Market Sentiment Indicators. Before we get started, the information provided on our channels for educational and informational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for professional financial advice. You must do your own homework. You must build your own system. Start with five of these indicators. Start with one of these indicators to start building what we call a weight of evidence. This will help you through the days. Also on a side note too, our, we are still on vacation for the next 12 to 13 days and the video will be sounding just a little bit more muffled the video will be just a little bit less clearer but the information is very good when we get back to the city we will have much better um, clearer videos when we're back at our home computer and our offices so let's continue from the first thing what are we looking at let's start from the short term to the intermediate term to the long term just on the S&P 500, we believe we are coming at an oversold level. Our indicators are telling us that we are becoming oversold, even at short-term levels. Our intermediate terms are bullish. Our long terms have been bullish since January 1st, 18. What are we looking at to start building a weight of evidence that we will be going higher in the near, near future? First of all, the VIX and the VXN are reaching three months or four months highs. Now you can say these numbers are still exceptionally low compared to last year. Yes, but that was last year. This is this year. So we're looking at the VIX and the VXN both at bullish levels here. Could we possibly go to 35 like it was last year? Absolutely. Do I think we'll go to 35? No. If you do not believe that we're in a bullish stage, then you can slowly position yourself in until you feel we are in a bullish phase for the VIX and the VXN. But we're going to come up with some stories why we are bullish on the V and the VXN. Let's continue lower over here. And I want you to just look at this VIX and its 50-day moving average. If you take a VIX at the 50-day moving average, it went lower, and then it crossed above the 50-day moving average. You're absolutely right. One year ago, the 50-day moving average was closer to 2530, but now it's much lower, which is giving us an extreme fear where people are very fearful of this market based on the VIX. So what we are saying here is that there is extreme fear by the investors. And we see it from CNBC to other videos to YouTubers. They are announcing extreme fears to even some of the biggest brokerage houses announcing fear. Now let's look at the next picture. Remember, the VIX works in the opposite direction of the market. And you see this number reaching 100. Every time this number reaches 100, we go into a bullish phase. It has worked each and every time for the last year that every time the VIX hits this number of 100, we start a rally. How much is the rally? It could be 1%. It could be 3%. It could be in selective securities but we will have a rally coming forward. Let me give you a bigger picture. You see the gap up and you see this number at 100. Now I know you're looking at it here at the number 25 or even the number at 30, 35. But again, that was so last year. The new number is 20, 22. I think the most you can get on the VIX with this 
number that has also time decay value and the futures markets in it. It's not the straight VIX. Let's continue further what I'm talking about here. So just looking at the VIX over here, if you look at the VIX, there's a high probability chance that we rally. So based on our indicators for the short-term VIX, we are bullish. For the overbought, oversold, short-term, medium-term, and long-term, all the numbers are hitting close to 181 or close to 100, which thus again tells us we are bullish. Now let's go something that has been extremely working well for us. It's the components this year. We take all the components of the indexes, Dow Jones, NASDAQ, and the FANG index, and track it for over 10 years. And recently this year, when the number hits 21, 19, or even 24, we get a rally. And vice versa, when the number hits 75, we get a sell-off. We have been using this all year round to be giving us a great opportunity to get into the market. The number's at 21.63, and probably by the end of the day, Friday, the number is at 19. Let's continue further. Put and call options, where two weeks ago, three weeks ago, when we were telling you take positions off the table, it's a different story now. There are many people betting that this market is going lower on the options, and usually options are raw. Now, is it at an extreme high? No. This is the trick that we're telling you. We're not going to get into the extreme high. Let's continue further. Double AII market sentiment. Two weeks ago, we've been warning you about the double A that was reaching extreme levels. We gave some back, and we expect this week to give some back on the bullish numbers, thus driving more of a condition for a short-term rally and also an intermediate-term rally going forward from there. We could also look at the spiders. Now, remember what you, we told you with the crossover. Look at the last two videos, and we're telling you, you go back to the left of the security, the spiders, the QQQ is what you want. You look back one day or two days, what was the high of the number. You look for a cross and closing above that number with market sentiment on your side. This, we feel, is a very high probability chance of succeeding. And I think you know what we're going to be doing in the next few days, in the next day, we have been buying. And what are we buying? Of course, you know what we're buying. Magnificent 7. But let's continue a little further and delve even further into this. And I want to go into market sentiment. As we told you, we are top down. If you figure out what's going on in the overall market, Everything will go easier into the sectors and individual. If everything goes up, the market goes up, 75% of the stocks will usually go up, usually. If everything goes down, 75% of the stocks, 70% of the stocks will go down. We are looking for a trading edge, and our trading edge today is the VIX, is the VXN, it's market sentiment indicators. And we are building a pretty good case, a high probability case, that we are going up higher. Let's continue. Of course, we went over the VIX and the VXN. Now let's continue. The put call option, as we told you, is again, short term and intermediate term, reaching levels that the majority of people are betting that this market is going lower. We're not going to rehash double AAII. L last two weeks ago, when we told you to get out of the market, it was at 49. Now it's at 44.7. Now it's at 35.9. If we reach in the middle of the week a 30, that could be the new short-term low before we have a rally. Let's continue. Name. It's consistency. We're telling you the same thing over again. It reached a high two weeks ago. We sold off tremendously. The question is, do you believe we're still in an intermediate-term bull market? And for us, look at the last two videos. We're telling you reasons why we're still in the market. We've also been focusing two weeks ago on the right X ratio. Now the right X ratio is minus 200. Again, another reason to get into this market. You know, if you've been listening to any videos, what are we investing in? For the last, for the last year, we've been investing in the Magnificent Seven. Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Tesla, Google, NVIDIA, Meta, the QQQs, and we keep on buying. 
We believe today we gave you a great evidence of why this market is going up higher short term. Do not let emotions play and news stories and even YouTube channels affect what you do in this market. Have your five, 10 indicators. We have over 100 indicators that is run by a computer and an AI system that spits out the information. Not only spits out the information, but trades the information. We do not base our information off what somebody else says. Even, even I'm telling you, Listen to our video, study our video. Our video is consistent. We're telling you the same thing each and every week, but it has to be your system. We need you to study, analyze it, adapt it, peace. And this is, of course, a disclaimer, but we believe this market is going up higher. We'll see who is right in the next few weeks and on December 31st. But just on the side note, last year, we were very right in the market. All year long, we've been very right in the market. Every time we told you, to buy on the pullbacks, we've been very right. And two weeks ago, like many times this year, we told you to, sh to shave some of your positions off. Nothing has changed. Buy into this market. The sweet spot is the next three months presidential election cycle. No matter who's the president in there, they will not let this market fall. They will, they will tell you the news and somehow this market will go up. The news will come up no matter what your emotions are telling you. Have a great weekend and enjoy your summer vacation. Peace.